Okay, so today we're going to talk about installing an electrical connection harness for Harley Touring. This is particular kit is going on a 2018 Road King Special. I've seen a lot of comments about questions regarding the instructions on this particular kit, which are not very good. So today I'm just going to go through a walkthrough of how to actually install the kit. Kit comes obviously with instructions, but like I said, they can be vague at times and uh, not very descriptive on what exactly you need to do. But overall, they're okay. The kit does come with some zip ties, which are nice, and um, some various electrical components you're going to need. One of the things that I found in this particular kit is it says it comes complete, but that's not exactly as straightforward as it sounds. So when you actually tap into the battery, you're going to be tapping in and connecting to an existing harness on the bike, and you're going to be inserting this into that connector. So that's the one piece of this that um, a lot of people have questions about that can be confusing. But other than that, not too bad. It does come with some nice quick connects for accessories like a heated seat if you have, um, but also it's got the, the free leads so you can tap in your non-Harley um, connected devices like speakers or anything like that. So should be nice. Uh, I generally don't like tapping into the wiring on the bike and I don't like tapping directly to the battery for a couple of reasons. One being I think it looks better when it's all tied in and connected nicely to a harness, but also um, I think that it's better for the battery as well rather than tapping directly to it. So we'll just go through this process. A couple of tools you're going to need. You're going to need a really small screwdriver, like a flathead. Um, that'll be one of the first uh, steps that you'll go through. So you'll need a very small one. Not required, but I recommend having a, a uh, it's a body pry tool. It's plastic. It won't scratch. Um, these are really nice to have if you don't have them. <clears throat> and then you also need a uh, half inch uh, socket for removing uh, some body panels above the battery. So that's it. Just a quick overview here. There's a couple of steps we're going to have to take to get into the battery and have access to the connectors. We're actually going to need to remove, obviously, the seat. And we're going to need to remove the right hand cover here. And you're also going to need to remove the left hand cover so you can access the fuse box. To do this, you're going to be actually removing the main fuse, which is a 40 amp, um, on the left side of the vehicle. So we'll, uh, we'll go through that process, but um, the connector that you're looking for is right behind this cover. I'll show you here in a few minutes, and uh, we'll tap into that, and we'll go from there. So step one is to remove the seat, and if you haven't already, I highly recommend getting one of these nice bolts. They can be had on Amazon for about five bucks or so, um, rather than the Harley. I'm sure it's you know 20 bucks or something like that but super convenient if you're ever underneath the seat if you're ever doing any electrical you're going to need to get under there anyways so save yourself some time and get these bolts we're going to have to remove at least one side of the strap here and that Get the seat removed. And then the next thing, go ahead and loosen. You don't have to remove them, although you probably should. In this case, I'm not, because I'm going to show you how to do it without removing the saddlebag completely. But loosen clamps just about as far as they'll go and a half turn to hold them in place. Next we're going to be removing this 
side cover and both side covers are held on the same way they're just three little pressure clips that are held into some rubber housings so that's where this tool comes in handy there's one here one kind of tucked in behind the saddlebag and then one at the bottom so three total and if you just kind of stick your tool in there and wiggle it around don't put too much pressure on it you'll feel it pop and the key is to get the top two to release and then the bottom one will come on its own pretty easily and it'll slide right out So now that we've got the left side cover off, I've actually been corrected here. It's actually a 50 amp fuse. That's your main fuse for your accessories. So once you pull that, that'll help protect your electrical systems while we're playing with the harness. But right here, I'm sure you can see it, um, this 50 amp fuse here, just pull that out. Then you'll be protecting all the electrical system for your accessories while you're messing with the wiring. Of course, in a moment, we're going to pull the battery out as well uh, for additional protection, but you're going to have to do that anyway. So. Okay, so underneath the seat um, in 2017 and 18 models, there's a, there's a uh, housing here that sits on top of the battery. It's actually holding the uh, ECM here, and then a number of other wire harnesses are kind of tied into this plastic here. So to get access to the battery, we're gonna to need to remove this. And it's just these two bolts here. And like I said at the beginning of the video, a half inch socket will um, remove these two bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, now with those two bolts removed, there's kind of a shape to it here that holds on to a metal post. And that's gonna, you're just gonna have to wiggle around until you can uh, get it loose. So you're gonna push it kind of forward towards the front of the bike, and then it'll clear. And once it's cleared, you can start to uh, bend this around, and you can now see that you have access to the battery itself. I'm going to go ahead and um, remove this ECM from these clamps to so get some more leverage here. And then it's kind of, there we go. Now we have access to the battery. So, We've got the negative lead here on the right hand side and then the positive here on the left hand side. Okay, so the next step, we're looking for um, what they're calling in the instructions the 325B PNA accessory connector. It's actually really easy to find. It's actually just right here 
and it's just a nice little clamp. Just push down and pull this thing out. And then you'll know you're correct when you look there. You can see it's a um, it's got three terminals on it, and then on the back side you can actually see this little white piece. That's up that block right there. We're going to remove and we're going to be connecting into that. The other two wires, there's a, looks like a black, and also a, like a purple with a blue line in it. So it's important to remember orientation whenever messing with these connectors. So don't forget uh, where, where each one goes. The black one goes in the middle, and that purple and blue one goes on the left. So when you're looking at the connector like so on the left. Okay, so the next couple of steps here. First we need to take this 10 amp fuse out of the supplied wire and have that over the side. This thing is in there, so you may need to get some pliers, but just kind of wiggle it back and forth to figure out. The next thing uh, causes some confusion is we actually need to get access to the secondary in here. So this white piece here, that needs to come out towards you as you're looking at it. And to do that, there's a little square here on the top. And if you use your small screwdriver, you can get that in there, apply some pressure and kind of pry it. And it'll come to a stop and you're going to have to work it one more time. So it's kind of like a, a two, I guess, spotted thing. So now it's out, <laughs> kind of fell to the floor. But now we can see the two wires in there and where the third one that we're going to add is going. So, okay, so an important note, make sure you take a look at the alignment of these two port, the two plugs that are in there right now. When you add yours, you're going to need to make sure it's in the same uh, orientation. To get that little white plug out, you're just going to kind of start pushing on it. And it's going to be a little rough at first. Um, there's not a lot of space in there, so you just got to get it lined up right and push until you see it's coming out the other end. And now the blank has been removed. Okay, so I've removed some of the, um, some of the cover here. And I believe I've got enough removed that I can now slide this in. So again, just slide it in that back hole and push forward until it seats all the way forward. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I removed just about enough. Um, and then certain, well, obviously the next step, we're just going to reinstall this secondary cover. And we're probably going to have to play with these just a little bit to get it to slide in right. There it goes. Okay, and then just give it a firm push until it's all the way in and everything is locked in place. Give it a few wiggles and make sure it's all still good. So that's it. Alright, so next thing we need to do is we need to get this to the positive battery terminal. And we're just going to slide it in front of the battery. Uh, all the way to the other side of the vehicle. So for now, be very careful doing this. Do not hit the terminals along the way. We're just going to slide it over there. Okay, so now we need to remove the positive terminal. Of course, we've already removed the negative before we started. So just... And all we're doing is adding this to it so we can carefully slide the screw in there, get that bolt in there and slide it right back on. One uh, good note that the instructions did leave is when you wrap this through to in front of the battery, make sure you can access where the fuse goes. If you ever pop it, you don't want to have to take things apart to be able to get to it. So that's a good tip. Leave it somewhere up front where it can be accessed easily. Um, of 
course, we're not going to install that yet, but um, just a good tip. Okay, so here's the deal. This harness that comes with the kit, uh, you're actually, it's going to have a protector on uh, the replacement 325. That's going to actually mount right where the one we took off the bike was. So you'll still have access to this at a later time. But everything else, what you want to do is to tuck inside here in front of the battery. And we're going to do that now. But I wanted to point that out because the original one is actually going to slide with this wiring harness in there. And it's going to plug into the male uh, connector that comes with the kit, which you can kind of maybe see. There you go. So that all is going to slide in front of the battery. The nice thing is you'll have a um, connection here if you ever added like a heated seat or any other four point connector. And then of course your leads here. So um, if I'm not mistaken, the red one with the blue stripe on it is um, constant power. So even if the bike is turned off, you'll have power. The purple and blue one is accessory power, so you'll actually have to turn the accessory over on the ignition for this to have power. And then, of course, the black is ground. So the kit does come with some uh, connectors here. Let me grab one. And it comes with a couple of these. So when you're ready to install some accessories, you'll just uh, you know clear away this heat shrink slider in crimp and then these are large enough that they can fit up to three 16 gauge wires which is nice so you can have maybe two accessories or three accessories if you really wanted to um, all connected to the same one connection here so that's a nice feature um, something that will be uh, convenient in the future so uh, that's pretty much it I'm gonna tuck this away and um, button everything down and that's it. It's really not that hard. I hope this video was helpful. Um, the instructions aren't that great. I 